Good day, my fellows, and welcome to today's tutorial. Today I want to show you how to get the How Did We Get Here advancement, and I have been really looking forward to do this video, and uh, a lot of you have been looking forward to this video too. So I hope you are happy that you're finally getting this advancement tutorial, because I actually don't think that there is one out there that you can easily follow along uh, with block by block tutorials and stuff like that. So I'm going to cover everything today, from um, what effects you're going to need to a block by block tutorial for the contraption that you're going to build, and also how to get, for example, the shulkers or the dolphins into that contraption because you are going to need those. So if you're interested in how to get the most difficult advancement in the whole game, then stick around and I'm going to show you everything that you need to know. And also, if you would consider to subscribe, that would mean the world to me. I know that already that this video is going to reach more people than my ordinary videos. So if you would consider to subscribe, that would help out the channel a lot. You can also check out my other videos, of course, if you want to, because this is a really small channel and every subscriber really, as I said, helps out a lot and I'd love seeing this channel grow. And also, if you don't want to subscribe, that is, of course, completely fine. Um, but if you would instead leave a like, that would be great too. So uh, this video is going to get uh, recommended by the YouTube algorithm and it also shows me that you are interested in videos like this. So I've already talked much, that was enough self-promotion. Um, this video is going to be divided into uh, multiple parts. In the first one I want to tell you uh, what effects you're going to need for this advancement and how to get them. In the second one I'm going to show you a block by block tutorial for the um, contraption that you, we are going to build. And in the third part, I'm going to show you how to get the sharkers and the dolphins, stuff like that, into your contraption. And last but not least, I'm going to show you how to actually get the advancement. So yeah, stay tuned for that and let's get right into the tutorial. So let's start off with all of the potion effects. So we are going to start with absorption, which we're going to require with a golden apple. Then the bad omen effect, we're going to need that twice actually, I'm going to talk about that later. Um, so for that you have to kill a pillager captain. Then the brightness effect is only going to be able to be acquired by a suspicious stew which you can get from a farmer villager. You just have to test out if it is a blindness one and if not you just have to try again because it's always going to be the same suspicious stew. Then we have the conduit effect, you can get that by a conduit. We have the dolphin's grace effect which you can get by a dolphin, uh, fire resistance from the potion, uh, glowing from the uh, spectral arrow. Then we have haste, we can only get that from a beacon. Then hero of the village which we can get by defeating a raid. Then hunger. Nausea and Poison, we can get all of these three um, effects with a Pufferfish. And in terms of potions, we're going to need the Invisibility effect, Slow Falling, uh, Slowness and Resistance, we can get both of these with a Turtle Master potion, um, then Speed, Strength, Water Briefing, Weakness and Jump Boost, and also Night Vision. So then we're also going to need a Wither Rose for the Wither effect. For Mining Fatigue, we're going to need the Elder Guardian, and we are also going to use our Beacon for Regeneration. So now before we get into the block by block tutorial, it is really important for you where to place actually your um, your contraption because there are some factors that you have to have in mind. First of all, I'd recommend, my, my opinion, uh, it is the best for, to put it uh, near an ocean monument, not directly above one because the guardians are going to be really annoying, um, but near one. It doesn't have to be like right here like I have right now. But there actually are some good things about it when you put it in the ocean. One of them is is that you can place a your conduit into really easily. Uh, you can also get easily the Elder Guardian effect and it's also not hard at all to find a dolphin which you're going to need. The downsides of that are of course that you're quite far away from spawn. I'm right now at uh, minus 800 and 1250 and later when you move your shaka the closer you are to spawn the better for you because the uh, shaka spawns at zero zero if you get into the overworld which means that you would have to uh, like travel about 2000 blocks which is not that nice also it would be good if there is a village or a pillager outpost nearby because you are going to need those too but those are not too important because they have quite a lot of time so as i said i recommend to put it on top of um uh, the ocean next to an ocean monument so what you're going to need in order to build this contraption is two observers, a beacon, two grindstones, nine redstone dust, two dispensers, a redstone torch, a sticky piston, a lever, uh, dirt, 164 uh, iron blocks or uh, two stacks and 36, a wither rose, uh, a few building blocks like about a stack, uh, two water buckets, three oak trapdoors or just three trapdoors, a hopper, a slab, a wall, uh, 42 prismarine, a conduit, uh, about a stack of glass, also a lead and a fence. And now in terms of potions, you're going to need a splash potion of fire resistance, one of swiftness, slow falling, leaping, invisibility, weakness, night vision and strength and also water breathing. 
Now, I'd extend all of those to the limit, but you, of course, don't have to. Uh, the time should definitely be enough. So, you want to start by taking your building blocks and you want to make a 6x7 um, platform. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Now, make that into a full platform. Now, go ahead and take your redstone dust. And your redstone torch, also your sticky piston, your lever, your observers, you can also take your grindstone, the dirt, and the wither rose. So go to one of the two ends which has seven blocks, and you want to start by placing down a redstone line right here. So, so those one, two, three, four blocks are supposed to be redstone. We can also put in here our um, building block and then a torch. Then we want to place a sticky piston facing upwards right here, an observer facing in this direction. Now we can also place in a uh, lever right here, and we can activate the lever. And now we want to place an observer facing into the piston where normally the other observer would be. Behind that you want to place a building block. Now right in front of the lever you want to place a dirt block, and on top of that the wither rose. Now take your grindstones and place one like this and one like this so you have this space right here now take your dispensers uh, your hopper and the trapdoors and also the water buckets you can also take your slab and your stone brick wall or just your wall so where the um where the grindstones are you want to place a trapdoor uh, on the top of this one so it is like this now you want to place one here at the bottom so you can also fold up like this and now you want to break a hole in the bottom and place a wall right here. Now you want to take your dispensers and you want to place one right here. And you can also take your hopper and place it on top of him. Now your second dispenser is supposed to go right here. And you can go ahead and run your redstone line into that. Now you can also start with caging everything in. You want to place your glass blocks like this, so one on top of here, then one on top of here, two here, and two here, and also two here. Now go ahead and take your third trapdoor and put it in right here. So if you fold up, it is like this. The last thing you want to do now is cap everything in, so everything is nice and secure. Also, you want to place a block behind this trapdoor, and you can go ahead and waterlock the trapdoor, and also uh, this trapdoor right here. So this is your basic contraption now done. Later on you can fill in every potion in here and there is the shulker going to go. So what you are going to do uh, later on when you are going to get the advancement is that you are going to drop in here, fold this up so you crouch, then you can go in here and because how the grindstones are positioned you have a little bit um, of your uh, hitbox in this uh, wither rose so you can get the wither effect. Then you're going to get shot by the glowing arrow, he's going to be the shulker. And if you now switch that lever, the dispenser is going to start to fire and this is going to fire potion at, uh, potions at you. Now the last thing for you is to catch a dolphin. For that you want to take your uh, oak fence and a lead. And you want to just place the oak fence on uh, below your platform. And now you can go ahead and try to get a dolphin like this one right here. You can get him on a lead and then onto your... Um, yeah, there we go, onto your platform and you don't want him to jump up there so you can go ahead and try to cage him in. Also, you're going to have to give him a name tag so he doesn't despawn because he is a, uh, yeah, just neutral water mob. So what you now want to do is try, of course, to catch him in this little cage. What you can also use for that is items because uh, dolphins are attracted to items because they want to play with them and that is also going to make it quite easy to catch him. So I'm just going to call this Dolphin Bob. There we go. And now he, we are also going to get the Dolphin's Grace effect. By the way, a lot of this contraption, about 90%, uh, is from uh, Raceworks. You probably know him. He is a really great technical Minecraft YouTuber. And he also um, made a video about uh, how did we get here. Just not a follow along tutorial, but more into the technical side of things. And how he and his community managed to get this um, contraption here going. Uh, I just... Uh, made it a little bit survival friendlier 
with the um, improvement of the dolphin being at the bottom and not in a one by one uh, hold in here because now I think back then it didn't work with that because you had to have eye contact but now I think everything should work out. So now as you can see there's one thing missing which is the shulker and this is going to be by far the most uh, difficult thing to do if you want to get this advancement. So I just realized that I forgot a really important part because you're also going to need of course to um, yeah, build your beacon and your conduit. You can just do it next to that uh, next to the contraption because the beacon and the continent have quite a big range. And on the beacon you want to equip haste and regeneration. And this is also how you build a conduit if you didn't know. So you want to have space in each direction, uh, one block from the continent off and then you want to place like this those crosses and you can also Always use those blocks free if you want to. And now before we start talking about moving the shulker, another thing that you have to have in mind when, especially with the dolphin, is that dolphins will um, die uh, if they uh, don't have contact to water for four minutes. So you want to have the upper layer of this uh, to be uh, air because dolphins have to breathe uh, in air. So if you just lock them in water, they are simply going to drown. So yeah, uh, let's now focus on the shulker and I'm going to show you now in detail how to get a shulker uh, into the overworld and into your contraption. So in order to transport a shulker, you want to have two things. You want to have an end city and an exit gateway portal as close together as possible. You just need those two things. The closer they are together, the easier for you. And as you can see, what you're going to have to do is build a bridge or a connection to both of those. So something I'd recommend to catch the shulkers easier is to drink a potion of invisibility. If you do that and you don't have any armor on, uh, most of the shulkers aren't going to attack you, except when you are really close to one. So as you can see, he won't attack us, but if I go too close to him, then he will start to shoot at me. Or he should, actually. Never mind. So, uh, but if he is in a boat, which you can do really quick, then yeah, he shouldn't attack you or he shouldn't be able to attack you. As you can see. Now you just want to hop into your boat and you want to row with him over to the exit gateway portal. So depending on how far away it is, this can take a lot of time. I'd also recommend to use a boat because it's way easier to control it and stuff like that. And if you want to move your boat up a few blocks then I'd recommend to use uh, a piston. So if you want to move the boat upwards then you just uh, can't use a piston itself but you have to have a block below that so as you can see if we do that like this we're going to move it up. Uh, so yeah that, that's how we're going to transport the shaka till we are at the exit gateway portal. So now at the exit gateway portal uh, what you want to do is just drive through. You are going to take a little bit of suffocation damage but it is going to work. Um, so yeah now as you can see the next problem for us is that we have to get the shulker over there on the end island. So for that you have to build another bridge and you also have to make use of pistons and blocks to get the shulker upwards. So let's start by building the bridge over to the main end island. And then right here you can put in a piston setup. So just actually a piston with a block next to it and then a lever. And you have to have a whole bunch of blocks on your hand. So uh, you can yeah go ahead and take your shulker in a boat then drive on top of the block and I can just go ahead and push the lever and then uh, place a block again and then push it again until uh, you are at the right height. I'd recommend to go to the piston push limit because it doesn't really matter because you have to travel up a few blocks more anyway and then you can just go ahead and bridge over. Okay there we go we are at the piston push limit and now we just can go ahead and build a bridge. Now you can just go ahead and take a shaker and row to the end portal. Now at the end portal there is a couple of things you do want to have in mind because you can't just like row with the boat into the end portal. This is going to get you through the portal but not the shark and the boat and then just have a shark and a boat stuck in your end portal. So what you want to do now is go ahead and break your boat and then you can just uh, again make use of pistons to push the shark above the end portal like this. And then just place a uh, block on top of the shaker and on top of that I get a piston facing downwards and then a lever and then he's going to go through. Also what I really really recommend and I would yeah redo that if I were you. Uh, if you have a bed in the overworld or a respawn anchor go ahead and destroy it and if you don't know where it is just place a bed uh, a sleep in it and then destroy it because uh, if you now go through the portal you're going to spawn basically where the shaker is going to spawn. 
Now from here on it's going to be a little bit easier because you can make use of minecarts now, which is going to be really expensive, but it is going to make it way easier than using a boat for a distance that long. Now of course you can also use a boat for traveling, but in the end you want to have the shark and a minecart, and though it is quite easy to pick him up again if you like uh, if you fell out of the minecart, then um, yeah, I'd still recommend to use a minecart for the most, but you have to go over the ocean anyway, so it's also quite handy to have a boat on your hand to move the shulker around. Now, sooner or later, you are going to eventually arrive at your station that you've built, and now you can... And by the way, this is how you pick up a shulker with a minecart, because you are going to need to do that. So just, yeah, make a minecart rail, and yeah, just run it right next to the shulker. So now the last thing for you to do is, uh, yeah, build something like this, so you have a block that the shark is going to go uh, onto, or you can also do it like this and then break this block later. So just make a ray well here, and let's like say that you're coming from this direction. So let's say you have your shulker right here, and uh, yeah, he's going to go into there, and then he, uh, when he's going to be in here, you can just break this block and he's going to fall down where exactly where you want him to be. And you can just also go ahead and cap him off with glass. Now, if you have troubles uh, with your shulker moving on a minecart rail because um, yeah, you can't really push a shark in a minecart rail. You can use uh, powered rails, and you have to, of course, power them. And then you have to place them uh, right next to a solid block. So as you can see, you can't really push the minecart, but if you uh, exchange this rail for a powered rail, power it and place a solid block. Which you can also do by place by using a piston. Then, yeah, you're going to move the shark. It is really, really uh, <laughs> annoying to move sharkers around. Uh, probably one of the most annoying things in Minecraft after villagers, uh, but yeah, it's just something you have to do in order to get this advancement. Now, you should have everything for your setup in place, if I am not mistaken. So you can go through the checklist that you have every potion, but yeah, those are all of the potions. So you have your shulker, you have your dolphin, you have all of the potions that you have to put in the dropper and the hopper, you have your conduit and you have your uh, beacon. And yeah, now that you have everything for the setup, now the last thing for you to do is to know how to actually get the advancement in the first place. So. Uh, in what order you have to do what. So yeah, that is what we are going to do next. But before that, you also want to make sure that you have your uh, spectral arrows to put into your dispenser. Also, you want to have a rotten flesh so you can get the hunger effect because for those two things, you are going to need a little bit of hunger. Then the splash potion of the turtle master, the golden apple and the blindness suspicious stew, and also maybe some dried kelp so you can uh, precisely get your hunger. So in order to get this advancement, there is a strict order you have to follow because certain things last longer than the other ones. The one that lasts the longest is the Bad Omen effect, then the Hero of the Village, and then the Mining Fatigue and also the Fire Resistance. So you want to start by getting your Bad Omen effect. For that you have to find a Pilcher Outpost, and it doesn't really matter if it's too far away because uh, you are going to have a whole bunch of time. So what you need to do is, at the Pilcher Outpost, you have to kill a pillager with a banner. So if you have, uh, don't know by the way, you have to go here twice, once for the first um, bad omen effect in order to start a raid, and uh, another time for the uh, yeah second time because you need the bad omen effect uh, on its own too. So as you can see, there now has spawned one with a banner, and if you kill him, you're going to get the bad omen effect. Depending on how many you kill, uh, the bad omen effect will increase, but you basically want it to be as low as possible because you want to uh, complete the raid as fast as possible too. Now what you have to do is to you have to find a village. I'm going to use the locate command for that too. And yeah, as soon as you enter the village, a raid is going to start, which you just have to defeat. Um, it is quite good, difficult, uh, but there are some strats to make it easier. One of them is to place a whole bunch of boats in a circle around the town, so every mob except the Ravenger is going to get caught in them, so you can easily kill them and just stuff like that, but a level 1 raid and with advanced gear um, you shouldn't have a problem with that, or oh, I hope so. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to complete this raid in uh, creative with strength, of course you have to do that legit, and at this point you don't have any effects yet, so if you die it's totally okay too. So yeah, I'm just going to, as I said, complete this raid and we're going to see us when I have the hero of the village effect. Okay, so actually this was a really really long raid for a, a level 1 raid, so normally they have like four waves a level one raid. This one had eight, I guess. So an actually really long raid. It won't take that much time probably in your case. But yeah, so now as you can see, we have the first effect here of the village. Don't mind the strength, this level was just for now. So yeah, we now have to go back now again to the pillager outpost and we have to uh, get again the 
um, bad omen effect because I said this in effect that we're going to need and if we go ahead and kill him we got uh, the first two effects already done. Now that we have those two the next effect that we want to get is the mining fatigue effect which you can get by flying around a uh, ocean monument so if you haven't killed the other guardians yet of course so let's, let's just wait until we get the effect there we go and now we got the three main effects done so um now just we have to check again so we have haste and uh, health we have all of these potions in here um yeah we have the witherers we have the dolphin that should be down here um now we have the shaka and of course we have the condom and stuff like that now go ahead and take your rotten flesh and your total master potion and all of that stuff and yeah go ahead and get yourself on full hunger the problem with rotten flesh is you can only eat it when you already have a little bit of hunger already so i'm just going to run around until i have yeah no hunger left okay so of course you have to do it in the legit way but uh, i just did it this way so um what you now want to do is uh, go ahead and get yourself on three and a half hunger points so you are able to sprint and yeah now the final moment is coming so you want to start by eating your golden apple and then you want to wait till the regeneration has run out then also um you go up top of here and splash yourself with the turtle master potion oh no i forgot actually one thing because you're also going to need a puffer fish i'm going to put that at the beginning of the video so you uh, i won't forget it um, so yeah, splash potion of the turtle master, you want to splash yourself with that, then go in here, swim, get the dolphin's grace, also all the potions, and now eat the puffer fish, and the suspicious stew. Okay, so once again, uh, when you have eaten the golden apple, you want to splash yourself with the turtle master potion, so if you have the resistance, then you want to go in there to construction and flip the trapdoor up. Now you want to, uh, sprint, swim into the wither rose and flick the lever. And then look down and eat the puffer fish and then the suspicious stew. It's important to look down so that you don't look into the grindstones and stuff like that. And if you do all of that correctly, then you should get first a furious cocktail if you haven't got this advancement already. And then uh, after you ate the suspicious stew, you should get uh, how did we get here. And you're also going to get the how did we get here advancement. And yeah, that is how you get it. It is actually quite difficult. I gotta say that, but uh, it's totally worth it. It's, it's surely something you can uh, flex on with your friends. Yeah, I, I know that all of you have been awaiting this tutorial a lot, and uh, it was really, really hard to concept this together. As you can see, I forgot uh, actually some stuff here and there. So um, if there is something I missed out, and if there is something you have a question about, then don't be afraid to write down in the comments. I'm going to answer all of the questions in the comments if I can. Thanks so much for watching. I'd really appreciate if you would leave a like and maybe even subscribing uh, because this helps me out so much and we are a really small channel and every subscriber really counts a lot. So though you can't really see me right now, um, I said again, thanks so much for watching. Also go ahead and share this video with your friends or favorite Minecraft YouTubers if you know that they want to complete this advancement too. And yeah, with that being said, see you next video. Bye!